I've been going. That's why I have to go to camp. Hold up, back. Week now. Oh, during the week, so you're going tomorrow? Hey, we're live though, by the way. Just double check. Oh, sure. Okay. Let's double check, Slack you. Oh, man, your thing's a little messed up, Rafael. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's like. Oh, is it too much light? It's like two years old. Oh, it's a lot of light, yeah. It's cool though. It's that pocket. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Broke a little bit. It's all good. Hold up, you know what? Oh, I got you right here. Look at this. How about this. Damn, man, we can't see you. All right. It's all good. Uh, open up, Baba Kusha. Hey, Shalom, Yashra. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakurash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule one, who taught us his truth, and salutations, and salutations to all the Akim pushing this word in truth and sincerity with charity. We're the brothers from the Great Millstone camp here in Chicago, and Lord willing, this is an edifying lesson. Right, going What's to the, the title? Topic. Get the title again. The title is, Men Will Want Mercies in the Days of Evil. Few Will Obtain. Yeah, so that's right. You know, as you can see, you know, um, you know, from the title, you know, in that day, you know, when all hell breaks loose, you know, when there's all this, you know, you know, all, 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 you know, all these, basically when we're in the perilous times and all that, all right, that's when people are going to try to seek the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's why the scriptures say, what? Seek the Lord while he may be found. Mm -hmm. Because in that day, as the scriptures talk about, the prudent man is going to keep silent because the days are evil. Yeah. All right? You know, uh, the prophets aren't going to be out there teaching. You know, there's going to be, you know, the internet's going to get cut off. There's not going to be really talking in that day, you know? So it's, you know, uh, uh, very important to, you know, uh, uh, seek the Lord. All right? Repent. Get right with Yahweh Hashem Shai. And the only people that are going to get that is the elect of the nation of Israel. Everyone else, they're, they're going to get uh, uh, their judgment. And it's going to be a terrible judgment. Mm -hmm. All right? Because uh, as the scriptures say, what? They're going to dwell in torments. Mm -hmm. It says that this is uh, um, the days that are to come are, is going to be um, a time like, uh, like what is no it? Other? No uh, other. Yeah, like no other. All right? You know, so it, it, it's going to get real nasty out here. And everyone's going to be trying to, you know, find you how about Shemiah will shine that day. And the Lord is going to have his, you know, his back turned, you know? Right now, the Lord has His hand out, all right? You know, basically, you know, through us, you know, you know, we're those vessels that are set up, all right, to, you know, teach this word and to, you know, uh, basically, you know, get, you know, in a sense, for lack of words, you know, get Israel right, you know, to, as the scriptures say, to teach them what? You know, what's profane, what's holy, mm -hmm. all right? Get them on track, man. You know, but what, what do our people do? You know, hey, they, they scoff, you know, they want to fight, they laugh, they mock. And so when all hell breaks loose, that's when everyone's going to want to get serious. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. But, um... Yeah, yeah come on. Bible Oh, yeah, that's good. Psalms 110, verse 3. Thy people... Which is speaking of who, man? The Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Who this word is uh, uh, sent out to, man. Which really, only the elect are going to get right, man. But it says, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. In the in the beautiness of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. So it says that the, our people are gonna be willing in the day of the, the Most High's power, man. Mm -hmm. When He returns and, and, and His glorious His glorious seen throughout the whole earth, man. It says all all all, all, all the other nations of earth shall well. Yep. You know, you're gonna see, man. And guess what, man? The Lord is not coming as a man. He's gonna come uh, as as a as a, a strength, man. As a, as a, you know, his power, his angelic glory, God, angelic. Yeah. Yep. That's right. See, but as it said there, man, well, you know, you know, that's when the people are going to be willing. Mm -hmm. And the Lord, when the Lord comes back with that power, man, you know. And for a lot of people, man, what does it say in that scripture in uh, uh, Zechariah? What does it say that um, it talks about the chariots, right? And it says, this is the curse. That goes right. forth. Yeah, they go forth, all right, mm -hmm. upon the whole earth. You see, can you get what's that the one in the wisdom of Solomon where it talks about the salvation and the uh, destruction? Was it like 18? Oh, 18 yeah, yeah, 18th chapter. Yeah, yeah, I got you. You know, I know exactly where you see, saying. when the Lord comes back, it, it, the Lord's coming to do two things to destroy, all right, the wicked, mm -hmm. and to save the righteous. That's it. All right, and the, um, the, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The numbers are going to be far, you know, different, all right? The, the, the two thirds and the heathen, which is the wicked. That is a way greater number than the one third of Israel, which is the righteous. Like All right? wave is to a drop. Oh my God, man! Right, get out of here. 
you got it. Yeah, like like a wave is to a drop. You know, the scriptures tell you in uh, Second Ezra, right? You know, imagine a wave, a, a huge wave, ocean wave. You know, all right, and only a drop is going to be saved out of that, man. All right, just like a, a, a cluster of grapes, that one, that one uh, grape is going to be saved. You know, but this is what you call for. What is the book of Solomon, chapter eighteen? Verse 7, so of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous and destruction of the enemies. Yep, keep reading. For, for wherewith thou didst punish our adversaries, by the same thou didst glorify us whom thou hast called. That's right. So basically, you know, you know, simultaneously, you're going to have, you know, the destruction and the salvation. All right. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is because the Lord's all about balance. You know, the Lord's all about balance. All right, so what we're praying and hoping is that we're on the side of uh, uh, of the righteous, so we can get that salvation. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what we're praying and hoping for. You know, that's why it says what that we're prisoners of hope. Kind. You know, because we don't know if we're gonna make it. You know, that's why you know we, we got to remain humble in this uh, this truth, remain meek. Okay, we don't you know we don't want to get proud. You know, you you got to remember that the only. Uh, 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 the only ones that can save you is Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You can't do it. Mm -hmm. You know? That's why it's best to submit yourself and get in order, man. Ooh, can I, can you know? I, can I give one for you since you yep. said that? The book of Sirach, chapter 6, verse 23. Give ear, my son. Receive my advice and refuse not my counsel. And put thy feet into her fetters and thy neck into her chain. Bow down thy shoulder and bear her. And be not grieved with her bonds. Come unto her with thy whole heart, which is your mind, and keep her ways with all thy power. You know, you got to fight the flesh. Search and seek, and she shall be made known unto thee. And when thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. For at the last thou shalt find her rest, and, sh and, and that shall be turned to thy joy. Then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee, and her chains a robe of glory. You know what I'm saying? Because... Having this wisdom uh, creates a hedge around you, man, from the rest of the world. You see, we're, we're, we're going into perilous times right now, man, into Jacob's trouble, man. It's about to be full blast out here. There's not going to be 911 to call, all right? There's not uh, uh, the availability of going to the supermarket and buying groceries and all these things. Troublous, evil times are coming, man. That's right. and, and that's why you got to get in line with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You got to repent. Turn back to the Lord and get right, man, and, and serve Him. The way he said to be served, you see? Not how your heart or your how you feeling, you see? That's right. Because there's a way of doing things, man. And it's all in these scriptures. And that's why the Lord set up his men. Started with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, right? To show you the way, all right? And that's what we're doing. We're warning you and showing you, hey, turn back, man. Turn to the Lord because, hey, death and destruction is coming. I got something for you, Al. This is uh, the book of Esther. This particular part... Mm. Is um in the um apocrypha, right? Those uh those uh, chapters that they took out, okay? So you have to have, you know, the apocrypha for this. But this is uh the book of Esther chapter th what is this? Uh chapter fourteen. I'm gonna start at eleven. The main points in fourteen though. Mm. It says, O Lord, give not thy scepter unto them that uh be nothing, and let them not laugh at our fall, but turn their uh device upon themselves and make him an example that hath begun uh this against us. Remember, O Lord, make thyself known in time of our affliction. And this is a prayer that Esther was uh, um, uh, uh, saying, okay? You know, they were going through uh, uh, what, what uh, captivity, uh, the Medio Persian captivity, mm -hmm. okay? You know, we can relate this to now, all right? Mm -hmm. You can still send up, you know, uh, this prayer. It says, Remember, O Lord, make thyself known in the time of our affliction, and give me boldness, O King of the nations, and the Lord of all power. It says, Give me eloquence. Eloquent speech in my mouth before the lion, turn his heart to hate him that fighteth against us, that there may be an end of him and of all that are like minded to him. But deliver us with thy hand, and help me that am desolate, and which have no other helper but thee. Yep. You see, we don't have any helper but Yahweh Shemiah Shai. That is the power that's going to save us, all right? Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai, yep. you know? All right, and we don't have um, we we can't you know win through you know guns. Uh, we can't win through money. Can you get that one in uh, what was it the Zephyr, the Zephaniah, the first chapter? Mm -hmm. All right, about how money is you know can't deliver you in the, in, in that day. You know the yeah. gold and the silver. All right, money can't save you. You know guns. All right, your intelligence, your wisdom. 
Nothing can save you in that day. All right. The only thing that can save you, if I can get this real quick in the book of Proverbs, it says the just are going to get, um, are going to be delivered through their knowledge. All right. This is a uh, Proverbs. Um, give me one hmm? moment. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Okay. Where is it? Proverbs, um, chapter eleven, verse nine. Hmm. A hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. You see, that's what's going to get you delivered, all right? Mm -hmm. Having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in you, all right? Which that, you know, means what? You're going to have the fear of the Lord, yeah. all right? And the Lord, and basically if you fear the Lord, what are you going to do? Obey Him. So mm -hmm. the Lord is going to uh, uh, save those that are obeying Him, that are being obedient children, that are trying their best, all right, to get, you know, on the path of righteousness, you know? And basically walk that walk, man, you know? That was Proverbs right. 11? Oh, uh, yeah, Proverbs if, 11. If you read verse 4. All right, yeah, I'll get it. Is it clear? Yeah, verse 4. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, I'll get it. <laughs> this is uh, Proverbs 11 and, uh, and 4. So, Lockie, let me see. Um, now, let's get to the point. Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, mm -hmm. but righteousness delivereth from death. Mm. That's right. You got it, Doc? Yeah, it's our righteousness that's going to deliver us, man. So it says, uh, through faith and our works are we going to be saved, man. All right, uh, the, you know, us being presented a, a living sacrifice, you know, and doing these videos to edify the flock, warn the people of the destruction that's coming, that, that's what's going to deliver us, man. Our, our blood being washed off our hands, man. You know, so this is Zephaniah, the brother called 1 and 18. It says, neither, the, neither their silver nor their gold should be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land should be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of an, of all them that dwell in the land. Mm -hmm. Right? Because it is much more precious than, than, than gold and silver. All right? This knowledge, man, you know, this is what's going to save us. It says if you receive and grab the word with meekness, all right, you should be able to save uh, yourself, man, your soul. Mm -hmm. You know? So we turn unto the Lord, man. It may be that he, that he, that he, that he may be delivered, man. No, but uh, uh, it says to uh, uh, come back uh, uh, through, uh, fasting Shemite. and prayer, and, and maybe that you be delivered. So it, we can, uh, 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 yeah, we gotta acknowledge our offenses, man, at an acceptable time as well, man. <clears throat> you know, yeah. now when the Lord comes in, and he, He's already putting hell upon you know this place, man. You know, people wanna uh, 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 take heed once the once the evil comes, but we're warning you now, man, to get right. That's right. Can you get that uh? The one in that Ciroc that we were talking about before the camera started. The 23? Um, but there's nothing sweeter? Uh, yeah, one, I think you had it on deck. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can have it here. I forgot how, basically, about uh, in the time of affliction. I got it here. They're not going to remember their prosperity. This, oh, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Ciroc 11 and 25. In, that, in the day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. Mm. Okay, so when you're in prosperity, that's when you, you, know, you don't remember the hard times. You forget about them, yeah. you know? You know, you uh, a lot of these, uh, for instance, like you, these entertainers, right? You know, uh, you know, our people that came from, you know, the uh, the ghettos and stuff. You know, they came from the slums. You know, they came from nothing basically. When they get to a certain level and they've been there for like, you know, x amount of years, they forget about, you know, the when it was hard times. You know. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, keep you know, keep reading. Kind of says. Uh, and then that's the problem with our people. They forgot about the hard times. The, they had what that hardcore slavery. That's right. Because right. uh, our people are doing what you know. Uh, doing well right now, you know. You got Esau giving them, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 what is it, government jobs, you know, federal jobs, state jobs. You know, some of them have businesses. All right, They're, the uh, the lower level of our people have what, uh, you know, food stamps, Section A, uh, a stimulus check. Okay, you know, right. so they're cool, man. They're yeah. good. Some of them are actually even doing better now. You know, <laughs> and my my, my problem is. Uh, telling me that uh, people aren't going to work no more because of the stimulus. Yep. People are, li are you know, living living comfortable right now. You know, so you want to go and uh, uh, basically stock up, you know, for the business or whatever. And uh, there's, there's certain things that aren't there because people ain't going to work because yep. cause of all this stimulus, man. You know, so people right now, yeah, that's, that's how Esau is doing it, man. He, he, he's making everything feel like, uh, like if there's peace and prosperity. Yeah, but then hey, that sudden destruction is, is coming near, man. That's right. He's getting them comfortable. He's getting yeah, basically yeah. the cow fat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for the it, slaughter. For the slaughter. You know, yeah. and our people, are, man, they're about to be in a rude awakening. Yeah, a rude awakening. All right, but keep going, Ark. Okay. Kind of verse 25, uh, Sirach 11:25. 25, in the day of prosperity, there is a forgiveness of affliction, mm -hmm. and in the day of affliction, there is more. There is no 
more remembrance of prosperity. Mm. You see, that's what's coming, right. okay? The, when the days of evil, uh, 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 you know, the days of evil are approaching, and that all that prosperity that people have in this place is going to be out the window, man, okay? Right, they're not yeah. seeking their, their, their silver and, and gold in that day. Oh, man, man I was just looking for that. They're not going to yeah. be thinking about good times, man. Right. They're going to be worried about Regardless. surviving. You know, they're not going to be worried about, oh, yeah, me and my, you know, family and my brother and sister, we used to go to the, you know, the, the, you know, the baseball game. We used to get, you know, hot dogs and, and peanuts and beers. That's not, no one's going to be thinking about that. They're going to be worried about how, when their next meal is. Or they're going to be worried about uh, how to get away from, uh, uh, you know, these rapists and stuff, man. That's what they're going to be worried about. You know, right? That's they're they're gonna be wondering when is this uh, a war gonna be over? When is this you know is there gonna ever be peace? You know, uh, in, in my you know city again? You know, that's what they're gonna be thinking about, man. They're gonna be thinking about the good old times, man. It's gonna right. be out the goddamn window, man. Mm -hmm. You know, right. and you see, you you know we're 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 trying to you know always you know uh, 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 prepare our minds for this, man. You know, mm -hmm. we're trying to get right now before all hell breaks loose. All right. Yeah, right. this is real quick. First Peter 1 and 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins mm. of your mind. Mm. Right. Be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Mashiach. All right? Yeah. So we're, we're getting you prepared mentally and spiritually, man, of what's to come. So it doesn't catch you like a thief in the night. Yeah. So you're not surprised when all this shit pops up. And, and you're wondering, like, what the fuck is going on? What do I do? All right? We're preparing you for that time, man. You see, because uh, having the Lord on your side is going to get you through Jacob, uh, Jacob's trouble, man. You see? All right, wisdom and knowledge should be our stability in, in that time, man. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're, we're, we're trimming our, our lamps, keeping that light in us, that fire in us. So when the bridegroom comes, hey, we're ready, man. Kind. You know, we're not here uh, 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 bugging out like the rest of uh, our people are going to be. Yeah. yeah they're going to be smoked, man. Yeah. They're going to yeah. be smoked in that day, man. They, what was it say? Where there is no vision, the people perish. perish yep. These people, man, all they can see is basically America. They can't see anything past this, you yeah. know. And once this place crumbles, man, you know these uh these people are gonna just lose it. They're gonna have no hope. They're gonna just a lot of them are gonna commit suicide, you know. A lot of them are just gonna go on a killing spree. They're gonna say fuck it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it, it said it, man, man should desire death and should not should find, find it. it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, this stuff is uh, it's about to hit hard, man. Okay. It's about to hit hard, and it's, it's gonna get real ugly. Okay. And if I may say, and that word uh, uh, stability in the Isaiah thirty-three and six you quoted is Amawa, which is faith. You know, exactly. our faith is gonna get us through that. You know, you see, and that's what we're trying to do with you guys. We're building you up in the faith and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right. Uh, so when these times come, you're leaning on the Lord. All right, because you know the Lord's gonna get you through it. You you trust and have faith in the Lord. Real quick, this is 2 Maccabees chapter 8, verse 18. For they, said he, trust in their weapons and boldness. All right, because our weapons of warfare are not carnal. All right, we're not going to go, uh, you know, bear arms and trust in these weapons like it's going to deliver us. That's not the case, man. All right. But our confidence, you know, again, that, that faith, with faith, our stability, right? Uh, but our confidence is in the Almighty, who had a, at a beck can cast down both them that come against us and also all the world. So a beck is like a nod, man. Our, our, our father don't even have to say anything. He just nods to Yahweh Shai and it's through, man. All right? Everything's over. We got angels surrounding us right now, man. All right? Uh, protecting us, uh, keeping that hedge around us, and delivering us from all troubles, man. Mm -hmm. You see? And that's what we're trying to get uh, across here, man. You got to build up your faith and trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because the times that are coming in, you're going to need divine intervention to get you through it, man. All right? Not no carnal thing or, or, or 911 like we were saying. All right? But the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that's why it's very important to repent now because the kingdom's at hand. Get that real quick in that uh, second Ezra where sure. it talks about uh, basically your faith and your works is what's going to get you saved. Yeah, yeah. All right? Yeah. You know? That's what's going to get you saved, man. All right? You know, faith and works are synonymous with each other. Okay? You know, if you have faith, you're going to have works. Yeah. And if you have works, you're showing your faith. Okay? And, then, and that's it. Because everybody's going to yeah. get what? Judged on... Uh, um, they're going to get judged according to their works. Everybody's about to uh, have to appear, you know, on the, you know, at that judgment seat. Okay? And then a lot of people, they're not going to get that mercy. They're going to want it. But they're not going to get it. 
Because the Lord's going to look at them and say, what have you done? You know, what have you done for me? And these people have, man, they basically have been offering wicked sacrifices. They have not been offering righteous sacrifices. These people are into what? Drugs, adultery, you know, uh, um, idolatry, you know, uh, murder, you know, whoredom. This is what our, our people are into. All sorts of madness and wickedness. That's all they know. And you see, what's so beautiful, the Lord gave us a chance, you know? Yeah. Gave us, a, he, he decided to open up our eyes for whatever reason, you know, because we could be blind like, the, you know, these people out here. The Lord opened us, our, opened our eyes, and he's given us a chance. So that's why it's like, hey, you, you can't be a slack in this thing. You can't be lukewarm. You can't take this for granted, you know? But um, can you read that, uh, what is it, uh, 2 Ezra 9? 2 uh, Ezra 9, uh... And I'm start seven. at seven. Oh, yeah, wherever you want to start, Alex. So like, yeah, I'll start at seven. Uh, is there eight, anything else before that? Uh, yeah. Uh, I can read it. Verse uh, six. Yeah, yeah, six sounds good, yeah. So, even so, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings mm -hmm. and wonders and powerful works and, and ending in effects and signs. Mm -hmm. And everyone that should be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and faith mm -hmm. whereby ye have believed. Exactly. So that's what's going to get you, get you saved, all right? You know, uh, you, you know, you believing, having that faith in your works, all right? That's what's going to get you saved. Those righteous sacrifices, all right? You resisting temptation. You being a brother, okay? You, uh, 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 you know, reading your scriptures. You know, you putting out uh, uh, videos. Uh, um, you, uh, you know, going to the line teaching. Whatever it is, man. And every person, okay, that's in this truth, that's a part of the elect. They have different works, all right? And everybody has a different measure, all right? So you don't want to uh, get too caught up in trying to compare yourself with a particular brother. Focus on yourself. What does the scripture say? Work out your own, own salvation, salvation with fear and trembling, okay? Yep. But you have to still offer something to the Lord because what does it say in Sirach 35? And also in the, in the law in, in mm -hmm. general, you cannot appear empty before, uh, before the Lord, man. Okay. You have to uh, uh, give him something, whatever it is, man. Okay, you know, hey, for you women, hey, be be good. Uh, um, hey, maybe you might have some money. Donate you whatever you know. Give your tithes. All right. Hey, you know, so you got certain sisters that make garments. Oh, all right. Be hey, if you're a, a wife to the prophets, be be a wife, man. Hey, and try to help hey, uh, um that man you're with to the best of your ability. That's right. All right. You know, and they, it's, then you got uh, those that aren't prophets. Well, what can you do? Be that help, man. Yeah, all right. You know, you got certain brothers in, you know, different areas. They may, you know, they may not be out there teaching, but what do they do? They, uh, you know, they drive, you know, brothers. All right, maybe they, 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 they're able to give, you know, some financial help. All right, whatever it is, man. You know, there's helps in this truth, man. Absolutely. And then, hey, then, you, then those that are, you know, ordained to be a prophet, you know what you got to do, man. All right, you already know the drill. Okay. We shouldn't have to be, you know, talking about this. You know what's up. All right, okay. but, um... I had a quick preaching for you. Come on, come on. This is uh, Luke 21 and 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. All right, which it goes into that uh, uh, Ezra's we just read. You know, hey, those that, you know, that are continuing to pray and fast and, and watch, you know, because Christians will watch as well as pray, you know, uh, we're going to be counted worthy, Lord willing, uh, to escape uh, the judgments that are coming. You know, because uh, we, we continue reading back in Second Andrews 9 and, and 8, it says, Shall be preserved from the said perils, where perils are already set, all right? Uh, and, shall, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. All right? So the elect, they have been sealed since the beginning, mm -hmm. all right? And we're just making our calling and election sure. By what, man? Do, like the brother said, uh, doing these videos, teaching this word. All right, uh, feeding the flock, mm -hmm. you know, working our own salvation uh, with fear and trembling. God. That main thing is repenting, man. You know, acknowledging uh, your offenses. That's what the Lord wants you to do. Acknowledge your offense. You know, say, hey, t hey tell the Lord, I've messed up. I need help. I need mercies. You know, please guide me. Please give me strength. Okay. I need you. Cleave unto him. Okay, as the scriptures tell you to do. Mm -hmm. You know, 
And you see the problem with our people, they always want to cleave unto the Lord when it's bad times instead of even like times like because right now like the green uh, the tree is still green. Mm -hmm. It's you know hey, we we can still you know grab some grub after this, grab groceries, drink water, all right, take a shower. You know we got uh, uh you know um, electricity etc etc. You know you should be uh, um, asking the you know uh, seeking the Lord now, man. All right. Kind, if I may. You know. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Mm -hmm. All right? So that's why, man, we're all going to appear, man, before the Lord, you see? And that's why we're telling you, man, repent. You know, we're urging you to repent. All right? Because here it is. You know, we've, we've lived so long before coming into this truth, man. So so much wickedness we've done, man. All right? So that's why, man, we got to work. All right? Put in this, this work of righteousness in, man. To outweigh all that bullshit, man. So that, Lord, when we could be accepted, man, and be delivered. Verse 11, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. Right, so, you know, uh, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, you know what I'm saying? So, we're telling you, this is going to be a time I've never seen on earth ever, man. All right, there's going to be dead bodies everywhere. Like, you see leaves on the streets, there's going to be dead bodies everywhere. All right? The she gets dung in the streets. The, yeah, Yo. yeah. The supermarkets are going to be empty, you know what I mean, within a week, you know, a couple days even. All right? And then Jake's going to be uh, invading one another, man. And then invading Esau. You know, and all these other heathens, man. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be complete anarchy out here, man. Yep. And if you don't have the Lord on your side, hey, you're going to be through, man. That's why, again, like the Psalms 110 and 3, man, in the day of our power, our people are going to be willing, man. Then that Isaiah 4 and 1 is going to come around. That Zechariah 8 and 23 is going to come around. All right? Because they're going to know, man, that we... Are the men of the Lord, Lord willing, you know what I'm saying, that we endure. All right, and they're going to cleave on to us, man. Because they're going to know that the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is with us, man. All right? I got something for you. Yeah, go ahead. Because you said something that we've been li we lived our whole lives, you know, prior to the truth, man. We, we were doing wickedness. You know, this scripture is here in Ephesians 5 and 15. Mm. See then, uh, that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Now, a part of redeeming that time is what, man? Uh, uh, you know, making up for the time wasted, you know, uh, and, 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 you know, and, and uh, setting ourselves in order again, man. You know, us, you know, coming back unto the grace of the Heavenly Father, all right? Because it says uh, it, it was in our mind to go straight, seek the Lord ten times more, man. Right. So, hey, we're going to redeem the time, man, and make, you know, doing as much as we can, all right? To be to find to be found with grace on the side of the Most High, man. When we, through His Son Yahusha, when He returns, you know, because the days are evil. God, if I may, I'll back you up real quick. Uh, Galatians chapter five, verse thirteen. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, mm. but by love serve one another, man. And this is love, man. Coming out and telling you that uh, you know you're going off and telling you what's coming up, the prophecies and everything. We're warning you, man. All right? This is real love, man. As harsh as it can be or gentle. All right? Receive the message that's behind it, man. The Lord is on His way. Shit is ramping up. Uh, uh, the MOB is here, and it's going to be mainstream. It's going to be mandatory very, very oh, soon. It's definitely coming. All right? Man. And when that shit happens, hey, man, all hell's about to break loose, man. All right? They're going to censor us off uh, the internet and off these highways and byways, off these streets. You're not going to see us on the corners anymore. You see? Right. And when that shit happens, hey, hey, man, if you don't know already, you're going to be screwed in that day, man. All right? Because you're not going to, you're going to look for us. In that day, you're, they're going to look. They're going to look and you're not going to find this, you know? Because it's going to be an evil time, man. That's in Amos. Let me grab that. But if you had something, go ahead, brother. Take it all. The Amos 5 and... Um, That's the spirit. I was just grabbing 5 and that. 13 and 8 and uh, 11. Damn, I was and just I grabbing got, that. Um, eight. Yeah, get yours first, man, because I got some... Bro, there's so many precepts, bro. <laughs> God, that's beautiful. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 13. Therefore the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time, man. There's going to be no talking, man. But, you mm -hmm. know, 
like another brother said, you're gonna have the internet cut off. It's gonna be too dangerous in the streets to be talking. Hmm. All hell's gonna be breaking loose. Why? Why? Why would? Why would we be speaking? Yeah. You know, during that time, you know. Right. That's why, hey, going back to what we keep saying, that Isaiah 50, 50, 55 and six, seek the Lord while He may be found. Seek the Lord while He may be found. We, we can't bring that out enough. Yeah. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yeah. This is what it's all about. And why is that? So you can get that covering in that day. If you don't have the Lord's, you know, uh, uh, you know, you know, hedge, that, you know, that protection, you're done. God. All right. Keep going. You want to get the other one? Oh, yeah, I got another one here. Yeah. Ezekiel 3 and 26. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall be, and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house, man. All right, just like uh, Noah. When Noah entered into the ark, the Lord sealed that door, man. And you best believe, you know, Jake was like clawing and, and scratching and screaming and yelling, asking Noah to let him in, man. And, and, and Noah, like, we're compassionate people, man. No, it was probably trying to let them in, but that door was sealed by the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. No man, no man could open it. You see? And just like this, man, the Lord's going to cleave our tongues to the top of our mouths, man. As much as we would like to tell you, hey, it's not. It's just not going to happen, man. All right? It's just not the time for it. The time is now to get right with the Lord. All right? Because when that day comes, hey, that time's going to be over with, man. All right, the Lord's hand is not going to be stretched out anymore. He's actually going to turn his back and laugh at your cal calamities, man, because you re you refuse re instruction and reproof time and time and time again, man. How many times have we been reincarnated here giving you the same message of what's today, of what's coming today, man? And you guys don't hearken. Two-thirds are destined for destruction, man. You guys are heathens, all right? And for you one-third that are listening, hey, man, take heed, man. With fear and trembling, work out your own salvation, man. And get right with the Lord because the time is now. All right? By this time next year, we could be in the kingdom, man. That's how fast shit is moving. Lord willing. It continues, man. Oh, Kind okay, I got this. Um, okay. Psalms 32 and 1. Mm. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven. That's Not right. everyone's transgression <clears throat> is going to be forgiven. It's only the elect. All right, and what the elect are going to have what? That humble spirit, meek, they're going to be repenting, they're going to have works. They're going to try to separate themselves as much as possible from this wicked, evil place. Yep. All right? It says, blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord, Yahweh, imputeth not iniquity, and whose spirit there is no guile. You see, the elect, their spirit is really pure. Mm -hmm. It's just the fact that they're in this flesh, all right? And that's the reason why they're going off. Because this is what? The chains of darkness. Yep. But the elect spirit is pure. They want to do right. All right? Yeah. They're going to have that what? That contrite spirit? Mm -hmm. That broken spirit? They're just going to be, you know, down. And why is that? Because they know they've been going off. Okay? They've been sinning against their power. Yeah. They've been doing wicked, uh, uh, wickedness. Okay? Now, um, I'm going to jump down to verse 5. I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. So you, the main thing is uh, for you to do is to acknowledge your sin. Acknowledge your offenses. Isn't that a scripture? Acknowledge, put acknowledge your offense. Yeah. Yeah. All right? That's what the Lord wants you to do. Okay? That's what the, the Lord wants you to do. It's like, you know, especially, you know, you um, brothers that got, you know, children, right? You're going to give them a less punishment if they acknowledge that they messed up. Yeah. That they said, hey, Dad, you know, I, I did this, Dad, and the third. I know I messed up. I got it. And, right. um, you know, I, you know, sorry, forgive me. You know, you may still punish them, but it won't be as as harsh. Now, if they're, if they're uh, lying to you, hiding things, yeah. you know, you're going to be, you know, man, you're just going to basically, in a sense, blow a fuse, man. You're going to go crazy, mm -hmm. you know? And then that judgment is going to be a, a more harsh. And that's what's going to happen to the two-thirds. They're trying to run away from, you know, uh, um, their punishment. They're trying to run away from, you know, all the wickedness that they've done. And the Lord's pissed off about that. Just acknowledge it. Okay. And get right. Okay. You know, you got that scripture? Okay. It's the Hosea 5 and 15. It says, I will go and turn to, to my place until they acknowledge their offense. Yeah, see, and for the longest... 
our people were, were trying to you know find all these other ways, right? You know, like, oh, is this route you know right? Is this philosophy correct? You know, they're trying to you know do this, that, and the third, all right? You know, to 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 get out of their situation, and it, and, and it, every situation it all failed, man. All right, all these other you know, you know philosophies, religions, it never benefited us. But the second we did what? We acknowledged our offenses. You know, we we started, you know, seeking the Lord. We turned unto Him. What's been happening? The Lord's been for, you know, uh, uh, you know, He He's been uh, 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 watching us now, guiding mm -hmm. us, you know, protecting us. Yeah. And we're getting to that point where the Lord's about to really uh, save us. That salvation is really coming. Yep. It's getting close, man. Okay, you can almost, uh, you know, uh, touch it, you know, so to speak. Yeah, it's getting that close. You feel it. Yeah, you just gotta. We just gotta wait a little bit longer. Just a little bit more. Yeah. We gotta let things play out. All right. But I'll uh, keep going. Okay. It says I will go and return to my place, till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Exactly. And we've been seeking uh, uh, the Lord, man. All right. Because we we're afflicted, man. All these all of us are afflicted. Every Israelite is afflicted. That's because the curses are on us. Yep. And then the you know the the uh, uh, the elected you know the. Hey man, they're tired of, of, of the way things are, man. You know, they're mm -hmm. sighing and crying for all the abominations that are done therein. Okay. You know, you see the two thirds of our people, they're still having a party, man. They still think this is a good time. You see, they don't realize they're about to get uh, date raped. You know, by Esau. Yeah. You know. You see, well, we're we're screaming. Wait, we're those Dasmo in distress, so to speak. With that that Dasmo was it? Uh, uh, Deuteronomy, the uh, was it the twenty? Sixth chapter is it or twenty second? Yeah, right, where it talks. Damsel. Yeah. Oh, the right. damsel. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're crying out because we we're, we're getting raped right now, man. Yeah. You know, we're, we're we're saying we have a husband. We don't want this. No, get off me. And Esau's still trying to you know you know put it in us, man. But see, what are the two thirds doing? They're opening their legs wide open. Hey, they're bending down and, and, and arching that ass up for them. For, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they're liking it. See, we're not though, man. All right. Yeah, I don't think you have to get it, but what is it? It says, yeah, the, the oh, damsel she, cried out. She cried out, you know. And well, guess what, man? The elect are crying out, man, unto the Lord. That's right. For, for every, all the wickedness and all, all the abominations that are being done in this place. Because hey, we, we, look, we look for a kingdom that, that we're in dwelling righteousness, man. You know, hey, we hasten in the, 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 the day of the Lord, man, by what? By pushing these videos, man. Uh, uh, crying out to the Lord to shorten the days. Mm -hmm. You know, praying for fewer days. You know that that that's what uh, the men of the Lord are going to be doing, and Lord willing, hey, that we those that get, get the mark set upon us that we, that we may be exempt from judgment. Yeah, the wall. Kind of, exactly, man, and and while every all hell breaks loose, you know the Lord has that hedge over us. You know because hey, we seek the Lord early, man. That's right. Um, I got a little more. This is Psalms thirty-two and seven. Thou art my hiding place. Mm. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Mm. Thou shalt compass me about with the songs of deliverance. Salah. Okay, so the Lord's our hiding place. He's that strong tower. Okay? We're not going to do anything in that day. We can't do anything. We're a worm. We're weak. Yep. You know, we, we, we're not mighty. You know, we're mighty in the spirit, but not mighty, you know, fleshly speaking. Okay? I'm going to keep, uh, I'm going to jump down. Verse 10. This is Psalms 32 and 10 now. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked. You see, those many sorrows are coming. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, you know it's going to come to Esau, the heathens, and, then, and you know our, the two thirds of our own people. And that's when they're going to try to seek that those, those mercies. They're not going to get it though. Right. They're not going to get it. Right. It says, "Blessed the man who sees the downfall of their enemy." Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. so that's something uh, that we seeking for as well, man. To see this devil come down from, uh, from rulership. Two oh, thirds too. Well, it tells you in the scriptures, with thine eyes, you'll see the reward of the wicked. Got it right here. Richard. That's the spirit, man. Damn. Get there. I'm going to finish this off. Get it. Okay, Psalm 91 and 8. Only with thine eyes shalt mm. thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. And that's it, man. All right. That, what does that mean? That means that the scriptures tell you that some there are some here that will not taste death, man. All right. So, Lord willing, we're a part of that number. We see, we're going to see all these things. We're going to make it through Jacob's trouble. You see? We're going to get beamed up on a chariot and get the fuck up out of here, man. On spaceships. You see? It's going to, it's going to be classy, man. 
And it's all played out already. It's already played out, man. And we're hoping, Lord willing, that we're part of the number, man. That's what we're striving for. You see? There's a, there's a, 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 a happy ending, uh, uh, you know, at the end of this thing, man. That's right. All right? And it's for the elect, man, that, that we're hoping to be. Yep. And you know what's so beautiful about Yahweh Hashem Al Shai? It's actually going to be a happy ending for all Israel, man. Yep. You know? <laughs> you know, and this, you know, all, all the wickedness that Israel's done, the Lord's, you know, is still going to have that mercy and that compassion, you know, at the end of the day. Yeah. You know, except, right, you know, you know, for this scene in the movie, the two-thirds got to get it, man. They got to be destroyed. Yeah. You they know? Got, they got annoyed by death, by pain. That's right. right. That's 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 their, the way they're paying for this, sin, man. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Their legs, their, their sins are being covered through, through the Lord's blood. So you know we all pay for something, but our 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 our, our uh, tab is covered, man, through the Lord, man. Yeah. But ultimately, the kingdom, hey, we're all gonna be righteous, man. We're yeah. all gonna have that 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 perfect uh, heart, that heart of flesh. Right. Yeah. It says, but he that trusteth in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. All right. You see, you gotta trust in Yahweh about Shimei Al Shai. All right. Because that's how you're gonna get those mercies. Yeah. All right, because if you trust the Lord, what are you going to do? Cleave unto Him. All right, you're going to be submissive. You're going to, hey, man, you're going to be that obedient, you know, uh, you know, that child, man. That's okay? Right. All right, let me uh, see. I got a precept. Um, I have one more verse of this one. Oh, well, yeah. Get it, yeah. Uh, Psalm 91 and 9 now. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. All right, so the Lord's gonna deliver us from 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 the destruction and, and, and you know these calamities that are that are about to come upon this earth. Oh well, can you hit uh fourteen? Because it tells you that the Most High doesn't love anybody but he that dwelleth with uh, wisdom. Okay, uh, Psalm ninety one and fourteen. Yeah, because he had set his love upon me, therefore I deliver. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he had known my name. Right, name. All right, not plural, name. You got to know the correct name. How about Shemiah Shai? You got to trust it, all right? And you got to be in love with it, man. Be pa be passionate in this ministry about it. You see? Because what did he say there? He said, because he bestowed his love upon me, I'm going to deliver him, man. All right, the, the Most High doesn't love no one, but he that that, that dwelleth with wisdom, man. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is this book. This 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 These scriptures... This is a record of Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Damn. This is heavy, man. That's right. Come on. Um, man, I got Psalms 33 and... Um, I'm start at 18. Psalms 33 and 18. Behold, the eye of the Lord Yahweh is upon them that fear Him. That's right. Upon them that hope in His mercy. Get to Psalms 34 and 16. I just got a precept right Man. Now. I don't even know what it is. Again. <laughs> All right. Whatever it is, the Lord willing, it's good. All right. Sarah, Sarah. What'd you say, Sirach? Sirach 34 and oh, okay. 16. Yeah, Sirach 34 and 16. For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. Mm. He is their mighty protection Ooh. and strong stay. A defense from heat and a cover from the sun at noon. A, pres a preservation from stumbling and help from falling. That's right. Wow, great scripture. You know, so, so the Lord is going to do, he's going to be that protector for those that fear him. Yeah, can you one more? And give him that, you know, and he's going to give him that mercy. Uh, you got you got it. Uh. Salakia. Uh, Sirach 33 and 1. <laughs> there shall no evil happen unto him that feareth the Lord, but in temptation even again he will deliver him, man. Hmm. All right? So like you brought out earlier, Sirach 19 and 18, the first step uh, uh, of, you know, being a, uh, being accepted of the Lord the, is fearing him, man. Roughly, I'm butchering it, yeah, man. Yeah, Sirach 19 and 18, yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, you gotta have that fear of the Lord, man. All right, because fear and love is synonymous. You see, all right. The, the Lord said it, man. In John, John fourteen and fifteen, I wish I said, if you love me, keep my commandments, man. If you really love the Lord, you're gonna do what He says, man. That's why I told you what in Psalms it says, kiss the son lest he be angry. That means do what the hell He's telling you to do, man. All right, take heed to the word. All right, right. you know John seven and thirty eight says He that uh, Believeth on uh, me as the scriptures have said, man. Not what man says, all right. Not man's interpretation or understanding, all right. But what the scripture says with the with the the correct understanding through the spirit, all right. Because the, the Lord set up certain men to give you that understanding, man. You don't just wake up with this, you see. 
Come on. That's right. This is uh, Psalms 33 and 19. Mm. Damn. It, I'm going to read 18 again. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, mm. to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Yeah. For our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Lord Yahweh, be upon us, according as we hope in thee. So, you know, um, you know, because for time's sake, yeah, you know, pretty much, you know, hey, that's what we got to do. We got to, you know, fear Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you know, have that hope, all right, and, and trust Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, all right. There, we got to seek him while he may be found. Seek him early, okay? Because mm, look, you, you know, you don't want to be um. You know, when that time comes, you don't want to have in the back of your mind, well, I could have done this, I could have done that. You you want to really just have in your mind, look, Lord, this is uh, uh, this is what I've done. This is the best I could have, you know, that I could do. I'm still sorry because, you know, because the scriptures say, you know, uh, you know, we've all fallen short of the glory. Yeah. You know, yeah. we've all, you know, we're not going to be, we're not going to be perfect. You know, we, we could have done better, so to speak. All right. But in a sense, you know, we gotta, you know, have that feeling where it's like, this is, this is all I could, uh, I could give, you know, I have no more, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. So it's like, you, you know, hopefully that will, yeah, you gave it your all. Yeah. You know, hopefully, yeah. you know, I worded that properly. You no, know, no, because Christian can never go far enough, but hey, that's why we always strive, to, you know, to seek the Lord as much as we can, ten times more. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but you know, he just don't want to be like, man, you know, in your mind, like, oh, I could have did this, I should have did that, and that, you know, you don't want to have that, that feeling, man. Right. You know? All right, but, um, you got anything else? Oh, but yeah, but, you know, with that, hey, Akim, hey, just keep, you know, pushing, you know, you know, keep, keep trusting in the Lord, you know, keep building your, you know, your faith up, and just get prepared, man, you know, because the, these evil times are coming, man, they're very, they're fast approaching. You know, you can see it. If you if you're, you know, staying on your watch, you can see that this is um this stuff is uh you know about to hit soon. Yeah. You know, we don't know when exactly, but it's coming. All right. But uh with that, you know, as always, you know, we're gonna give all praises on and glory to Yahweh You know, also double honors to the apostles and that was a great millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom. 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 Shalom.